Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab. In my last video, I talked about intents and how to set up skills to associate what a user says with a code handler by using an intent schema and utterances. And in this video, I'm going to talk about slots. So for simple skills or simple intents, just having utterances to trigger code handlers might be enough. But in most cases, you're going to need uh, more than that. You're going to probably have intents that uh, require parameters or information from the user to fulfill whatever the request is and respond. And in this video, that's what we're going to look at doing. And I'm starting with um, a, uh, a simple hello world skill. It's uh, pretty much where we left off on the uh, the last uh, last video. So it this skill here, it, when you open it up, says, hi there, can you say hello? And then when the user says hello, uh, the um, this intent here says uh, hello nice to meet you so really really simple and what we're going to do is we're going to change it up so that the user so that the skill can greet the user by name and we'll do that I am going to um, set up the slots using the new skill builder I think in the last video I did not use that uh, the skill builder but I'm going to use it for this one so in here I'm going to add a new intent and I can do that by just clicking here and I'm going to call this intent, um, let's call it uh, hello by name. And the utterance that a user is going to say to for this intent is going to be, let's say, my name, May, my name is. And then this is where you, I almost typed my name there. This is where you type the slot. So now um, it automatically in this skill builder, and this is one of the really cool things about this, this tool that I like, is when you use the parameter value in the utterance, like I just did there, it automatically creates the, uh, the slot down here. And so I'm gonna go into the slot and do a couple of things to change it up. One, um, I need to specify a type. And uh, slots have types like variables have types in most coding languages and there's a lot of um, there's a lot of built-in types uh, and so you if not German I'm gonna do US first name there we go and so uh, I'll leave a link to the documentation that uh, talks about the different built-in slot types if there's not a slot type for the slot value that you're collecting you can certainly create a, a custom slot uh, in this case we're just gonna greet the user by name and their first name. And so I'm gonna use this uh, built-in slot type US first name. And I'm also gonna make that required. So for this um, intent, we need to know the name because we're gonna be responding with the name for this new intent, hello by name. And so we'll prompt the user if we don't have that slot filled with, uh, what is your name? Like that, okay. So with that, I should have my new intent, hello by name and slot set up. And I'll go ahead and save that and build. And then I need to go into my skill service, my Lambda code, and I need to um, create a new function for handling that um, new intent, the hello by name. So I'll do that now, just like that. And I am going to, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go like this, var name slot equals, and I'm gonna hard code it first because I wanna show you something and then I'll come back and um, change it up. So I'm gonna use it in here in my response and to do that I need a back tick uh, and I'll use let's say uh, name slot okay so I'll save that so what I'm what I'm doing right now is I am just going to when somebody says my name is Steve or Joe or whatever for right now it's it should always respond with hello nice to meet you uh, and the name which is always going to be Steve uh, for right now and then I'll show you how we're going to change that up so if I go back over here 
into the developer console and I'm gonna go test this to see if it's working. So now if I say, uh, my name is Steve, we should, hmm. okay, is, so I mistyped my utterance. Okay, so now I should hear. Hello, nice to meet you, Steve. So, so my intent handler is working as it should, but as I mentioned, if, um, if this is something other than Steve, so I'll say Joe, <clears throat> my skill service, <clears throat> excuse me, is still responding, hello, nice to meet you, Steve. And we want that to respond with this value. So we need to grab that value from the request that's sent to the Lambda function. And you can see that if you look at the request in here, um, the slots are passed as part of the intent. So we want to grab the name value from these slots and uh, we'll do that. Um, I'll change that up so we can see how to do that. And then we will be all set. So I'm gonna go back over to my code here and I'm gonna change this now to grab the value from the request. So here's that slot name value that I showed you in the request. And that's gonna fill this variable here that we're gonna use. So we'll save that up and make sure that it's all working as it should. Go back over here and test. And now if we test, my name is Joe. Hello, nice to meet you, Joe. Or Mary. Hello, nice to meet you, Mary. Okay, so that is a really quick um, overview of how to use slots in a custom skill. Hopefully it was valuable. If you've got any questions, uh, please leave those and I'll respond just as quickly as I can. If you did find this video valuable, please like it and subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. Thanks so much.